Okay, we're now back, and the next thing we're going to do with ClickFunnels is we're going to uh, integrate this into our website. And as you can see on here, the URL that ClickFunnels uh, uh, funnels have is uh, a ClickFunnels.com domain, right? So um, this is fine if you're just advertising and you're just drawing people in to buy something. But if you're doing more uh, branding-related, uh, you know, uh, funnels and, and things like that you want your own uh, domain on there right because uh, it's just better for branding and it just makes it look a lot cleaner so to do that what we're going to do is just go to your account over here and go to domains and what we have here is we're going to add a new domain just kind of ignore that for now because that's just telling us that we're in test mode. And because I already have a domain with this, I'm just going to do um, add your own domain. But if you didn't already have a domain and you wanted to buy a new domain, I believe you can just choose a domain here and do the process or the purchase process through ClickFunnels. And I believe they may even give you uh, the first domain for free. So uh, go ahead and look into that. But for me, since I already have my domain, and most people will probably have their own domain as well, just uh, click on Use an Existing Domain. And here we'll just put in our domain. So this um, this is called a subdomain. And what this is, is this is where you want the click funnel to, uh, this funnel to land on your domain. So you, if you put in www.yourdomain.com, it's going to pretty much uh, tag this funnel to that www but for our case I'm going to put in um, let me see I'll go with something like uh, test one two three dot my domain which is um, number one dad gear dot com so I'll go ahead and add the domain And now ClickFunnels says, how do you want to connect to uh, your domain with this ClickFunnels? And what we need to do is uh, go to your domain, and I'll show you how to do that right after this, and add a couple of uh, what they call DNS records in there. And I'll show you how to do that right now. Okay, so in order to uh, link um, our uh, website to ClickFunnels, uh, my website was purchased, or the domain was purchased through Namecheap. So here I am in Namecheap, and as you can see, here's my uh, your uh, my domain here. And what we're going to do is uh, just look at a couple of settings here. And as you can see on here, what's important is you want to look at DNS. If you don't know what DNS information is, uh, which stands for Domain Naming Service, you want to talk to your ISP about this, and they can uh, help you with this. But if you kind of know what you're doing, then just go ahead and uh, make sure that you want to go wherever your DNS is uh, hosted at or the settings are at. So for mine, as you can see, I'm going through the uh, Namecheap web hosting DNS. And what that is, is it pretty much uh, means that it's hosted on the server and not at the registrar level as we have here. It's So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and um, open a new tab which is that and then I'm just gonna put a forward slash cPanel to get into the cPanel like I said if you you don't understand what this is you can talk to your ISP and they should be able to uh, help you out but what cPanel is is it the connection uh, I'm sorry the configuration settings for your website as far as hosting goes so I'm just going to put in my credentials and log in to my cPanel for my domain And once you're in cPanel, you go to where DNS uh, information is at. So in this case, it's under Domains and under Zone Editor. I'll click on that. And down here, I'll just, if we go back to uh, ClickFunnels, it tells us that it needs a CNAME record. And remember, we're, we're calling it Test123, and it's going to be pointed to target.clickfunnels.com. So this is how we do it. We're going to create a CNAME, and we're... C name is test one two three. 
Okay, so now that we're in uh, the zone editor, let's go ahead and just click manage. We can create the record here, but I find it easier if we just go through manage. And here it's going to list all our records that we have for our um, domain there. And what we want to create is, remember, a CNAME record. So I'm just going to click that and that shows us our existing CNAME records. And I'm going to add a record. And it will be a text record. A, if you look on here, I'm sorry, the type is C name here. And let's go here and add a C name record. And the zone name is um, test123.number1dadgear.com. We'll keep everything the same. And here for the fully qualified domain name, I'm going to copy and paste this over there. And that's what ClickFunnels wanted us to do, was target that with this record. That's what we did. Um, and we're going to add a record. And there we have it. Don't mind the uh, shop.number1dadgear.com. That was what I had uh, before when I was testing. So pretend that this row here isn't even here. And this, if this is the first time you're doing it, you should have something like this. Test123 is obviously where we're going to go uh, type in when we integrate that with ClickFunnels. So now that we have um, our record set at our domain, let's go back to ClickFunnels. And now we can say that I've done this step, because we have. And so now ClickFunnels is going to do a check. Um, it may not be there yet because it always takes a little time for these things to propagate. So as, as you can see on here, we haven't been able to verify that your, your domain is connected to ClickFunnels. So as I mentioned, this can take a little time. So when it does connect, I will uh, come back to this. Okay, so after about half an hour uh, worth of waiting, as you can see, we can now connect to it and it, it is ready for you. So let's go ahead and associate a funnel with it. And we're going to use the No Dad Gear funnel here. Associate funnel. And there we go. So let's go ahead and click in here. And what we want to do is set a default page. This is pretty much the page of the funnel that will load first. And as you can see on here, we have opt-in selected. So we'll save that. Opt-in is, of course, the first page in the funnel. And what we want to do is also enable this for SSL. SSL is secure uh, sockets layer or pretty much uh, pretty much is uh, securing your website so that if you're conducting transactions and such, um, people cannot intercept the s data stream of your website and, and you know do malicious stuff with uh, your customers and, and things like that. So our website actually is um, already SSO enabled, but this is for the uh, ClickFunnels side of it. So if we expand here, we're going to add SSL here so that the ClickFunnels side of it will also be secure. And this will take a little time, as you can see up here, maybe 10 or 15 minutes. But it will get done on its own, and that is pretty much it. If we click over here to the uh, Funnels tab, you can see that it associated, and it pretty much uh, added our funnel with it, and it's ready to go. So let's go ahead, and um, we can test it right now. So if we just copy and paste that, just go over here to a new tab and paste it in there. Hit enter. There you go. As you can see up here, test123.number1dad.com, opt in. Right now it leads to our funnel and there is our opt in page. And don't mind the not secure over here. Remember, we added SSL, so in about 10 or 15 minutes, if we refresh this again, it should be secure. So. That is pretty much it on how to integrate this into your existing website domain.